me just talk on the bill, please. Yes, sir, you recognize. In September of 2020, September the 24th of 2020, WLEX News reported in Kentucky that the Supreme Court ruled against paramutual wagering seven to zero. 924 of 20. On 2 2 of 21, a bill was introduced, Senate Bill 120, to the Senate body of the Kentucky Legislature. On 2 9 of 21, it passed the Senate 22 to 15. It moved to the House on the same day, 2 9 of 21. 2 2 10 of 21, it got its second reading, and 2 11 of 21, it passed this house chamber 55 to 38. Bipartisan bill, 38 Republicans, 17 Democrats voted yay. 33 Republicans, five Democrats voted no. Signed by the governor on 222 of 01. This general assembly created a law that would make legal what the Supreme Court of Kentucky said were illegal in a seven to zero decision. Let me state right right real quick that I'm against gambling. Period. If it's gambling, I'm against it. I could break out Bible verses. I could tell you reasons why, but I won't. I'll tell you why I'm against it. Because of hungry kids, broken families, as a result of gambling. I don't need the Bible to tell you that addiction of all sorts, including gambling, alcoholism, drug abuse, breaks up families, Sends kids home hungry. It beats kids up and does not provide for kids what they need. Last year we had the same bill, sort of, kind of, because the horse racing industry wanted, in many of our opinions, to have the ability to control all gambling in the state of Kentucky. Because of that, machines that were, in my opinion, illegal already, we have House Bill 594 to make sure they're illegal by state law. These machines are the ones taking my people in the 84th District's money. Most of my people are not going to drive to Williamsburg, I think that's where the, the new track is. Ashland, where a new track's going in. And across the state of Kentucky to play the HHR machines. They're going to play the gray machines and they're going to play the little cherry uh, masters games that's been in the back of stores for years. That's what the machines that are taking my money. That's what this bill gets rid of, I think. 528080 is a possession of gambling device statute in Kentucky that was created in 1974 by this body of General Assembly. <clears throat> it already makes those cherry masters, according to arrests that I've made and machines that I've busted up back in the day when I was with the state police, makes them illegal. This would add these new gray machines, these new machines that have come in to that list. Here's my dilemma, as was last year. If I vote yes to destroy the gray machines or to have them taken out of Kentucky, then Churchill Downs gets a monopoly, and who's to say that in future legislation they don't try to pass and be able to put their machines in the local stores. If I vote no, I'm promoting gambling too. 
I said the same thing last year. And I feel the same way as I did last year. I hate things that take from our people. It's not like a job where you can where you can go get a paycheck, earn what you make, and then go spend it. This takes from our people. So I, I have to be against any kind of machine. I have to be. But again, I don't know how to vote on this today. Yes, I'm against the machines, and yes, I'm against the HHR machines. No, I'm not for the Churchill Downs to have the monopoly on this business. I'm not for that either. I think there's a lot of people in here that feel the same way I do. You don't know how to vote. You don't know how to vote. Because back home, if we vote no, there'll be stories put out, Baptist preacher that's a state legislature voted to expand gambling. He voted no on grave machines. But they don't know the backstory of everything. If I vote yes, it's a, it's a, it's a same it's a same thing. I really I really wish there was some way to settle this. I didn't sleep much last night. Learned of a house committee sub this morning. Got in here at. 6.30, 7 o'clock, and tried to find it and read it. I didn't vote to suspend the rules because I've not seen the, I didn't, I didn't see the amendment. There's a lot of things that goes on in this place that I don't understand. There's a lot of things and ideas that are in good bills that's sitting in the, sitting in the filing cabinets that's not going to get a herd that could really help Kentucky. I could use some housing money in East Kentucky. I could, I could, we, we in East Kentucky could use some jobs. Rural Kentucky, all across Kentucky, could use more jobs. But here we are, Friday, instead of waiting until Tuesday and letting us read the amendment and all that. We're here on Friday doing what we're doing. And I guess that's part of it. I mean, I, I signed up for this. I asked for this job, and I, and I love this, this part of my life. I love representing our people from back home. I've got text messages from people. I've got, I got messages from, from people back home saying, please do something about the gambling machines. They don't know what a grave machine is. They just know that we've had three or four Casinos that's been put in there. Just they bought the Ponderosa Steakhouse building and put a casino in it. Machines. So I, I, you know, again, do I vote yes? Do I vote no? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I guess because I don't know. I really don't. I just hate to see us as a body. Legalize things that we want, make illegal the things we don't want, and next week it'll be sports betting, and it's something that is illegal, but we're going to make legal, so the state can make twelve, fifteen million dollars a year in tax money, but we have to lose, our people have to lose three hundred million to get that. I'm old country boy, but that really ain't good math. I appreciate your time. Let me speak, Mr. Speaker. And again, there's a lot of you feel the exact same way I do. I just don't know what we're going to do on this bill. Thank you.